Hey, what's up? You're watching the Sit Down. I'm DJ Sixsmith. Roger Bump is here with us. Camp Coral and Sponge on the Run coming to Paramount Plus. It's going to be SpongeBob Month in March. Roger, really nice to meet you. How are you? Very nice to be here. Very nice to be anywhere, but very nice to be here, especially DJ. So it's a pleasure to talk to you. Listen, man, the the SpongeBob legacy is something else. I mean, it has spanned multiple generations here. It's now a new iteration on Paramount Plus. What has this whole journey been like for you? It has been the journey of my life. Um, I'm, I've been doing uh, acting for nearly 50 years now, and I've been very blessed to be a part of a lot of different things, movies and whatnot. And this is the highest profile and the highest um, legacy type of, of, of project I've, I've, I've ever been a part of. And I'm exceedingly grateful that, uh, that, that you can just be a part of something that's iconic in American culture. And so I, I feel like paying them, not quite. <laughs> when do you feel like you got a hold of who Squidward is? How long did that take you? It, it, it's remarkably easy. Um, uh, I, they, they gave us a breakdown at the audition, which is a simple audition. And uh, I saw the breakdown. I saw he had his big honking nose. So I kind of put him in my nose a little bit there. And then he was sarcastic. I can do that easily enough. <laughs> and when the first uh, shows were, were, were produced, he was kind of monotone. He was like just that one note of the blah, 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 blah. Then they started expanding what he was called upon to do. And I began to, to spread wings and, and, and really develop the character into something that's far more than one note. We all started as one note, but uh, we all get the chance to, like I say, spread our wings. And uh, the, the characters after 21 years are far more fleshed out and far more nuanced. So that's, that's the standard evolution, I think, for a long running show. Yeah, I think it's great. You've had the runway to do that. And even with what's coming to Paramount Plus, I mean, you have a movie, which is an extended cut. You have the prequel with Camp Coral. You know, what were some of the most interesting parts about doing those projects? Well, the Camp Coral part was especially uh, a, a interesting because it's, it's, it's kind of a backstory uh, issue, uh, an, an origins kind of thing. Uh, we, we didn't play them as, as little bitty kids. We played them as, as, as the normal character. We just kind of tilted it a little bit higher, maybe. Uh, to get uh, that younger uh, 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 nuance and to see how little bits and pieces you you see how characters developed to be the way they are in the original show how Squidward got to be so depressed and frustrated and uh, underappreciated they all start fairly childlike and naive and enthusiastic and then with Squidward's case he just kind of gets knocked down sequentially until he develops into that sourpuss that we know so well. When you think about the 21 year journey that you mentioned, I feel like people have their, their SpongeBob camp, they go to Patrick, they go to Sandy. Like, have you always had that group of fans that has been for Squidward or has it evolved over the years? So fans, fans tell me that, that, of course, they always tell each individual uh, of us, you know, you're our favorite character. Of like course. That, you know. uh, but uh, there, there is an evolution that I see quite often. And that when, when kids watch the show, they identify with SpongeBob, of course. He's the childlike person, the, the, uh, the, 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 the innocence uh, and the fun-loving uh, character. And then as the, 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 the viewer gets to be an adult and they, they see what it's like, to get that job and to have those bills yep. and to have all those pressures of being an adult, they become Squidward. And I've heard that countless times from the fans. So, uh, and then when you get older, you become SpongeBob again. You know? <laughs> so, so there's a circle of life thing going on here. <laughs> That's really interesting. I think it's also interesting just the reach of the show. Talking to some of the other cast members, it's been in, they've been in foreign countries and SpongeBob has been recognized there. Do you have a story of just somewhere super random where either your voice has been recognized or you've seen SpongeBob or Something that pops to mind? Uh, I, I haven't heard too much of the foreign stuff. Uh, I, I keep wishing that we could have all originally done the Spanish one because a lot of us can, can do a little bit, you know, a, 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 an acceptable amount of Spanish. I, cu I couldn't have done Swedish or German or anything like that, you know. But um, no, I, I, I have been uh, completely innocent of how it's received and how it, even it sounds in foreign languages. I, it's one of those research things that I must explore. Hmm. That's definitely interesting. What are you most proud of in playing Squidward all these years? I guess being, it's not really being proud, but being thankful uh, of, to be a part of something that has a legacy like this, that, that is legitimately a, a, a part, an iconic part of American pop culture, uh, like, like Looney Tunes uh, or like Disney. 
uh, to be a, to be have a part in that at all is something long lasting. And 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 as I've said before, it's it's there's a responsibility. You you, you in public, you can't be a jerk. Hmm. You know, you can't you can't allow yourself to just go off on someone, and then they find out that you're Squidward, and then that just that just disgraces your character, and then and you just, you just don't want that. So um, I'm on my best behavior with people, and. And I just love people's response throughout all the years. They they really appreciate us. People have come to us constantly at Comic Cons and say that they want to thank us for their childhood. We chaperone them through their childhood, wow. and that to to be a to be a steward of that type of uh, iconic uh, of character and show is something that I take very seriously, and and I'm very grateful for. Amazing story. You do a great job with it. Roger, really nice to meet you, man. Best luck with everything going forward, right? All right, Kai BJ. Thanks a lot, man. Have a great day.